Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. Studio vlog number 14. If this intro seems rushed, it's because this is my third time recording it because every single time I was interrupted by something or someone. So yeah, I've, I've done this before. But I hope you've had a good week since my last studio vlog. Last week was really quite eventful. I designed my first washi tape. I have like the mock-up they sent me printed out and I got a picture of the stickers that will go on top as well. I'll put that on screen. If I remember, I usually forget. So editing me while checking, this is your reminder. So this week I thought I'd do a lot less. I also didn't really have many Etsy orders. So you'll still see me package some, but that'll be at the end of this video. So if you want some relaxing ASMR slash music packaging, content stay tuned for that but there was one thing that I did actually do but I did not film so I'll talk about it now and that is I designed my very first enamel pin okay story context I have pins I've made pins before I have these dango and like Ghibli and then I have a hello cover my face yes a uh, little rainbow daruma pin and these I designed they're wooden pins they're quite large and chunky and I made them with zap creatives just a while ago but they aren't really selling I just quickly put them back into my little art cart I don't really sell a lot of them they're not really a popular item and also since the upfront cost for enamel pins, so you need to pay the mold fee and then for each pin, but then also shipping is quite expensive from China where actually all enamel pins are manufactured. So I've just always been put off from actually doing it. And then I made my washi tape and it's coming 
in a week or two. They're almost done with production and shipping should take up to a week. Can't wait to see those. So I thought it would be really, really cool to just try out if I could design a pin. And if I just design them, I just do some doodles. And if I like them, I make them when conventions happen again, because well, with no conventions at the moment, I don't really need to be spending a lot of money on making pins. So I took this print illustration that you've seen before. It's one of my most popular items in my store. It's a bunch of different no and Japanese theater masks and from mythology. And the first one I actually illustrated out of this set, the small ones are the ones I did first. So the Kitsune, the Onan, or the regular known face, the Oni, the Hyotoko mask and the Tengu. The Tengu was the very first one I made almost, I mean, over a year ago at this point, but I really liked the way it looked and I thought it would translate well into a pin because of the way it's very symmetrical. There's only two to three, uh, how many colors did I end up using? One, two, three, four colors total. And yeah, so I did a little, hello. Yeah, not sure if you can see this properly, but I did a little, oh, dropped it mock-up of it it's gonna be a 35 millimeter gold plated enamel pin and since there's only four colors and it's quite a simple design i thought it would be a good one to test out so i messaged a few manufacturers on alibaba to see how much things would cost and it's not as expensive as i thought i mean it's still not the cheapest item to produce but compared to acrylic charms or washi tape it's not too far above that so I bit the bullet and um, paid for the mold fee for it just so that I can get a sample they'll produce one and send me a picture and then as soon as I they see that and approve that I paid for 50 so I paid half of it already and then as soon as I approve the sample I'll pay the other half and yeah, I'm really excited. I hope they turn out great. And then I'll have an enamel pin in my store. So I made this list of things that I want to accomplish that are like art related. And most of them are things like I want to do so and so many cons by this date, which with COVID ridiculous doesn't happen, especially international cons. I wanted to go to Germany and maybe the UK and some other places to see if I can sell there at artist alleys hopefully next year will be a year where that is possible but then i wanted to make washi tape i wanted to make enamel pins i wanted to make an art book and i think that's about it some more like design projects and fun things like that but really washi tape and enamel pins were my goal for 2020 which ended up not happening so i felt like this was the year where i'm doing it and now i ended up doing both within a week of each other so I really hope this little Tango pin turns out well. I am testing it. The reason why I'm not doing it through Kickstarter is because I am afraid of the quality not being good. And then if I have a Kickstarter and a bunch of different designs and then the manufacturing doesn't work out, I'd be just a bit afraid of doing it that way. So I'm paying for this one upfront and the washi tape as well. But I have been toying with the idea of, if it looks good, doing a Japanese theater Kickstarter. So either a theater or like a Japanese shrine, mythology, religion Kickstarter, one or the other, with like matching washi tape and sticker sheets and um, yeah, maybe a print or two, but just like items like that and then mainly having two, three, four, five enamel pin designs can be unlocked. And depending on how well it does, that's how many designs I'll actually end up making. But yeah, that's the goal for this year. And I, if the pins turn out well and I can sell a few of them, I think towards the end of the year, I will start preparing a larger Kickstarter to make up for all of the many conventions that I would have gone to this year to have a little bit of revenue, but also to create some new fun products. If I said you're all I want more 
fingertips and collarbones If I caught you on your own Would you mind my hand stitched in yours? I got it bad, bad, oh I see you in my sleep Then I want you mad, madly Come running after me You're in my bones, bones, oh I gotta let you go But I don't know how when you're rooted in my soul oh, oh, oh. I gotta tell you I had a dream last night You came back to me after our goodbye My arms you fell into And you asked if I'd run away with you I think I felt that way before Like I couldn't wait just a minute more And I don't wanna let you go My dreams slip away, I know You saw me clear as glass I thought you bold as brass Never knew how lovely love could be Forty hours give or take you Call me when you are awake And from our phones will crumble time and space I need you here, here, oh I see you in my sleep And I want you dear, dearly Come running after me You're in my bones, bones, oh Okay, real quick, ignore the terrible backlighting, but this is my Instagram and I wanted to show you something cool I just did, which is instead of using Linktree, I decided to create my own like link landing page, which means I don't have to pay for Linktree and it's hosted on my own website since I have like a portfolio website anyway. So I looked at a few YouTube tutorials because I'm not great at it, but... Um, yeah, cool, fun. I could include like my latest YouTube video, so the link to this one as soon as it's up. And then I have a bunch of social media icons, a little description, my email, and then an extra button for my shop update just to make sure that everybody knows about that as well. Just think it's a cool little way how I can also customize the colors and have it all fit and be hosted on my own site. So if you have your own website, it might be a good idea to try this as well. I just used Elementor, which is like a WordPress plugin. And after watching one or two YouTube tutorials, I figured out how to do it. I'm not great at it, but I'm good enough to make it work. And it works. So there's that. Final update of this vlog. It's only like a few more minutes to go. Also because my camera says it only has room for four and a half more minutes of video. So I'll be quick and Yesterday, so on the weekend, today's Sun, today's Monday. Oh God, today's Monday. Anyways, during the weekend, I had there was a virtual convention because everything is still, of course, cancelled due to COVID. But there was the Nyancon, which is one of the Austrian cons run by Animanga, and they had a drawing competition. And the task was to draw a character as a cat or draw your cat in like a spring theme. And I decided to, of course, since that's what I always do, do like an ukiyo-e kimono cat feel similar to the ukiyo -e cats that Kunisada, I think. No, Kuniyoshi, that's wrong ukiyo -e artist that Kuniyoshi created. And I did my own two cats, which passed, who passed away two-ish years ago, one year ago. It was definitely pre-COVID. But for them, I drew them in like some really lush kimonos and had like a like cherry blossom scenery in the back. 
And yesterday it was the prize day and I won. I won some anime merch which I have no idea what to actually do with because I haven't seen any of the animes it's from. I probably just sell it at a flea market once or twice. But I also created a cat, like pet ukiyo-e commission sheet because I thought this was fun to do. Maybe other people want their pets and I got a commission. So in the next vlog, you'll see me sketching and illustrating that. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a bit less packed with stuff, a bit more me talking to the camera, which me talking to the camera now isn't helping that ratio of art to talking. But next studio vlog, hopefully my washi tape will have arrived. I have news on my enamel pins. I'll be doing some drawing, maybe some new stickers. I don't know yet what I'll do next week. But what I do know is I'll film and take you along with me. So check the links in the description, my social media, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter, my, my everything. Follow me there and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.